Dwarf Adventurers coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here we go. We are one, one night away from our August 18th Warhammer Age of Sigmar tournament. I'm kind of stalling out here. Anyway, I'm so excited and we've been putting together the package and we've pretty much got everything ready now. All we have to do is wait till tomorrow morning and let people in right at 10 o'clock a.m. Hope you're gonna be there and we will be ready to play a great tournament with three battles at our August Age of Sigmar tournament. So, without further ado, I thought I'd bring out these old dwarf adventurers that I've had kicking around for a long, long time. I don't even think you can get these guys anymore unless you go find them at, like, a hobby shop that has had very, very old, old product for a very long time. But these guys are really cool. They are dwarf adventurers. They came out in the 80s. 1980s. Wow. So, without further ado, let's go down to our bench and open them up and check out these little white metal dwarf adventurers from the past. And here we go down a little trip on memory lane with another nondescript box. This time around the nondescript box is full of dwarf adventurers, which we haven't seen since the 1980s. I just happened to get a box of these guys. They've kind of been off and on on the Games Workshop website before everything went to the end times and Age of Sigmar and the whole deal. I just happened to get a bunch of these guys, and they are neat. This is sort of from pulled over from that era when Games Workshop was just making stuff, and they didn't really have much of a plan as to what they were doing. They were just making stuff, stuff that was cool, stuff that really didn't have any, you know, basis in anything. So Games Workshop gave me these nice bases, angled slots and straight slots, which if you're putting these in Age of Sigmar, you can't really use them anymore. Not really sure what to do with these guys, because they're not really of use. So, our first blurry guest here is a little dwarf guy who's reading the map. And he's got a backpack on. So he is Adventurer. I don't know if these guys had numbers, but in the tag here you can see this is from 1985. So it's quite an old mold. And he's got Mapper written on that little thing right there. See? Mapper. So he is the dwarf in charge of looking at the map. Okay. <laughs> Which brings us to this guy. Now this guy is sort of a samurai or something. But he's got a little sword. And he's kind of swashbuckling here. And his little thing... I can't read that. <laughs> Dwarf. I think it's supposed to be warrior or something. Oh, Chaos Dwarf Warrior. I have no idea. Oh, but it's a female. <laughs> nice little... Yeah. Or is it a female? I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing, Games Workshop? I have no clue. What were you doing back in the 80s? Alright, and next guy is this little guy and he's like a prospector or something he's got a little blunderbuss and backpack on the back kind of like a cowboy hat these guys make a little neat little unit for um skirmish or something but anyway there's him then we've got this dwarf And he is carrying a little rat. Something for dinner. He's a trapper. He's got the little cloth in there. Get the rat before it scurries away. So there's that guy. Then we have the dwarf on stilts. And he's kind of a happy-go-lucky little guy. Walking around with the stilts. The detail is pretty nice on these. If you like the kind of comical old dwarf guys that they used to have back in the day, this is a neat set. Look for it on eBay or wherever. 
Now they give you eight of these guys in the box. Oh, this is the samurai guy. All right. There, see that's a neat little guy. These guys would also make interesting generals for your Age of Sigma army or champions, you know, somebody just to bring out the rest of the guys, make the detail look interesting. Okay, uh, two more guys left. We have another explorer. And this guy harkens back to the colonial days of dwarfery, where he's sort of much like a, a jungle explorer with a plith helmet and the blunderbuss. They call him the hunter. There he is, looking for a wild game in the Sahara or whatever. So, pretty cool. And our final guy in this expose of dwarf adventures, my favorite guy, the wizard. And this guy reminds me of the original Dungeons and Dragons first edition, where it had the wizard guy sitting there smoking the little pipe out in the woods. And there's the backpack. And like I said, it's too bad you just can't use this guy as a wizard in uh, Age of Sigmar, because that'd be so cute. And that, dear friends, dear adventurers, brings us to the end of our nondescript box of Dwarf Adventures review. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at these little dwarf adventurers. Weren't they cool? I especially like the little wizard guy. <laughs> Too bad you can't actually feel them as a wizard in AOS, because, well, dwarfs have no wizards, right? But anyway, if you would like to make a small contribution to our channel, please go over to our YouTube home channel, look in the banner for the PayPal icon, click on it, and you can make a contribution to our channel. That would be nice. And now, I sure hope to see you tomorrow at our tournament. Remember, it's 10 a.m. sharp. Bring your armies out and get ready to battle. And if you would like to see some of my other unboxings of the past, check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here and click that notification bell so every time I open up something, you get to see what's in the box. And until next time, happy gaming, and I hope if you come down tomorrow that you will win. Until next time, See ya.